Geological understanding of the Earth's biggest extinct bird. The massive birds native to Australia, so called thunderbirds, died about 50,000 years ago. Chinsan Mituran of the University of Cape Town was roped in by Australian counterparts for her expertise in this extremely scarce field of fossil bone microstructure. Anusuya Chinsamituran runs the only histology lab focused on fossil bones in South Africa. She's one of only a few experts in the field in the world. The microstructure of bone found in the core can help reconstruct the biology of extinct animals. Extracting a small part of fossil bone, she determined for the first time distinct differences between male and female bones impossible to tell by only looking at the size of bones. In female birds, they, during ovulation, they form a very particular bone tissue within the marrow cavity of their bones. And this tissue inside the medullary cavity is called medullary bone. So if you find medullary bone, you know for sure that you are dealing with females of the species. And in, this, in our case, we looked at these 15 bone samples and four of them were clearly females. Her findings caused great excitement and further helped unravel how the mirroring or thunderbird lived. Standing at over three meters tall and weighing over 400 kilograms, these birds most likely share ancestry with geese and ducks. Chinsamituran says it's important to study both extinct species and living organisms. If organisms have evolved to adapt in a certain environment and if we as humans change those environments so rapidly, we're not giving organisms a chance to adapt even. So even natural processes that occur can't naturally uh, happen because it's too quick for them. So I think we have to realize that even though there's always change in the environment, changes in uh, diversity of organisms, as humans we need to realize that we shouldn't, we should be more careful about how we, um, what we do to the planet and how we actually alter environments. The research project is a collaboration between the Flinders University in Adelaide, the Australian National Museum and through Chin Sami Turon's work the University of Cape Town. A paper on the study was published earlier this week. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.